Look guys, I'm telling you, there's no way that Aisha stopped fighting bad guys when she moved to Africa. I'm not saying she stopped. I'm just saying that she probably opted to do a less dangerous way of fighting. You know, we saw in the comics, Zack and Trini worked as volunteers in South America. Maybe Aisha did the same. Guys, Aisha was a Power Ranger, okay? She wouldn't have just settled to just volunteering. Excuse me, are you guys talking about me? I mean, Aisha? Karen! Maybe you can help settle a dispute between us. What really happened to Aisha after the Zeo quest? Do you really want to know? Aisha stayed in Africa to honor her heritage and to help the animals. Which she did for the most part. But being a Power Ranger has shown Aisha that she cannot turn a blind eye to evil. And to help her humankind, she had to fight. But with Zordon's rules always in mind, never reveal your identity, never escalate a fight. She did forget a lot of times how she wasn't a Power Ranger anymore. But she never stopped helping, because that's what a Power Ranger does, whether she can morph or not. Awesome. But was Aisha doing that while looking for Tanya's parents? I mean, she did eventually write Tanya a letter, right? As I said, once a Power Ranger, always a Power Ranger. Well, I for one liked your theory. It was nice talking to y'all. Bye. Bye, Karen. See, guys, I told you. I still awesome. think that she would have done something. Come on, on man, right? Hi, Karen. Hi. Thanks again for yesterday. Yesterday? Did we see each other? Yeah, we talked about Aisha and what she did after Power Rangers. Are you trying to pull a prank or something, Chris? Stick to skits. You're so funny. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hi. Uh, I'll see you later. What just happened? <sighs> we came to the wrong Earth. <laughs>